to be a friend, a guide to making friends and keeping them by Lori Brown and Mark Brown. Contents, me, myself, and I on page four. Who can be your friend, page six. Ways to be a friend will be found on page 12. Joining in the fun is 16. Feeling shy, page 18. Ways not to be a friend, page 20. Bosses and bullies, page 22. Making up with a friend, 24. Talking out an argument, page 29. And being friendly, page 30. Me, myself, and I. There are times when it feels good to be by yourself, enjoying your own company. You can think up ideas, pretend and play exactly what you want. With no one else around, you can have all the toys to yourself. Who can be your friend? But some games are too hard to play by yourself, and they're not as much fun all alone. There are times when you may feel lonely or bored, when you want to have someone to play with. Why don't you ask that boy to play? I'm scared to ask. What if he says no? At least try. Um, want to play? Okay. Anyone who is nice to you and who likes to play with you can become a friend. Friends can be different from each other in all kinds of ways. My friend is good at computer. My babysitter is a friend. My mom would be my friend, except she's my mom. Hi, my name's Martha. What's yours? I have a friend in sixth grade. My friend speaks Spanish. Habla Espanol? Please, pass the chips. Our friend lives next door. My friend has a beard. My friend has red hair and freckles. But there is one important way that friends are all alike. Do you know? I know. You're in the same class and you both wear rainbow sneakers. No, your favorite lunch is pizza. You both play soccer? Nope, that's not it. What is it then? It's our feelings. We really like to play together. I have a hundred friends, maybe more. Well, I have one friend anyway, and here she is. Friends feel the same way about each other. Ways to be a friend. There are many ways to show that you like someone and want to be a friend. You can play fair, flip a coin with a friend to see who goes first. You can protect a friend if someone starts bothering them. You can share your toys and other things. You can stand up for friends even when other friends complain about them. You can invite them to play with you. You can listen to your friends and pay attention to what they say. Hey, that's my pencil. Give it back. Okay, okay. I just borrowed it for a minute. You could try to cheer a friend up who's feeling sad. Do you want some of my candy? You could offer help to friends when they need it. This math is hard and I don't get it. Here, try this way. You can cooperate. Go along with your friend's ideas. Okay, what do you want to play? You can even compliment your friend when she wins and you lose. That's being a good sport. You can keep your word. Then friends will know that they can trust you. Or you could also do special things for people. Like make them a present. Joining in the fun. Everyone feels left out sometimes. It's not always easy to join in. Feeling left out hurts inside, but acting too angry about it usually doesn't help. Doing nothing isn't much help either. You may end up feeling sad and helpless. We don't need any new members. I want to play or else. What you can do instead. You could invite someone else to play with you or find something you like doing on your own for a little while. Later, you could try to join in the group again. If you watch to see what they are playing, you might be able to offer some help. Feeling shy. 
we all feel shy at times, such as when we meet new classmates or go to new places. Don't ask me to go in there. You can't make me, Dad. You're just feeling shy right now. That's Miss Mary. She'll introduce you. Hi, come on in. I sort of want to go in and I sort of don't. When you feel shy, it takes courage even to say hi to someone. But the more you practice, the easier it gets. Ways not to be a friend. Friends are bound to disagree about things. Even best friends can bother each other sometimes. There are many ways to upset your friends. You could insult them or call them mean names. If you don't let them play, if you hit or hurt them, if you tease or make fun of them, and if you cheat and don't follow rules. Not sharing or letting friends play with other people. If you act like a poor sport and showing off when you win or lose, that's not being a friend. If you ignore what your friends say, or if you blame friends for something they didn't do. Keeping friends will be difficult. Bosses and bullies. Being a boss means that you like to tell your friends what to do when you play. You like to make the rules, but friends may get upset if you never let them have a chance to be in charge. One of the worst ways to treat a friend is to act like a bully and try to scare someone into doing what you want. If someone bullies you, try not to get upset. Tell the bully to leave you alone and tell a trusted adult. Join other friendly kids. If that doesn't work, ask a grown-up for help. Making up with a friend. There is always more than one way to settle an argument. If you and your friend want to use the same toy, what could you do instead of fighting over it? Be creative. Think of a way you both can use it. Maybe you want to decide to take turns or try to get enough toys for both of you. You could even make a deal. If you get what you want, what can your friends have? You could also use a trick such as flipping a coin or counting. One potato, two potato to see who goes first. Decide to play with someone else if this doesn't work. Arguments can make friends feel so angry they can hardly think about making up, at least not until they find a safe way to get out their anger. You need some clouds. Stop that. This is my side. See how you like it. Oh, yeah, I'll show you. It's ruined. It's all your fight. Ooh, fault. Nice picture. It's supposed to be a sunny day. Mine was too. I'm sorry. That's okay. You're still my friend. Sometimes an argument just gets worse and worse, angrier and angrier with no end in sight. Friends may need to separate, take time out, or get some grown-up help. Talking out an argument. Here are some steps to help you talk out an argument. Number one, stop arguing. Number two, calm down, take deep breaths, count backwards, relax your muscles, or leave the group for a minute. Number three, agree to talk it out. Number four, everyone gets a turn to tell, not yell, their story to be listened without interruptions. Number five, think up lots of ideas for solving the problem. Try to choose the best solution, the one everyone agrees on and thinks will work. Number seven, decide how to go about carrying out this plan. Number eight is do it. Number nine, remember, Arguments are allowed, but meanness is not. Remember, in order to please everyone at least a little, you may not get exactly what you want. Being friendly. Being friendly means showing that you care about other kids, even the ones you hardly know. You can make them feel important and help them to belong. It means treating others the way you would like to be treated. It feels great to have a friend.